and along with the uh, Briggs and Stratton four and a half engine it's going to be torn apart I got a uh, an old Ford C4 transmission um, that I'm going to pull apart and uh, uh, see what kind of condition it's in it was pulled out of a vehicle that was basically a race vehicle I don't know if you want to I don't know if it was a derby car or what the entire story behind it was. But, um, yeah, like shift linkage doesn't work. Kick down linkage does. I mean, I don't know if it has parts missing or anything like that. I know the pump housing is already loose on it. That'll come out input shaft uh, but it's not seized up so I'm going to tear her apart see what parts are in it well I guess we all know what parts are in it but uh, tear it apart see what condition the parts are in and uh, go from there okay first thing I'm going to start with is I'm going to remove the uh, servos the um, vacuum modulator, shift modulator. There's a servo over there. Uh, the external bolts. I'm going to flip it over, take the pan off, take the valve body out. Uh, that's pretty much not, not a whole lot to it, but uh, I'm going to start with that one right now. may have been apart already but these bolts are fairly loose and if I'm not mistaken assuming there is one in there yeah there is and she's bleeding Hold it down with one finger while I remove the rest of the bolts here. Let's see. This transmission fluid doesn't smell too burnt, but it's all on the brown side. So she probably was ran pretty hard. And this transmission has been completely drained, but there still are cavities anywhere and everywhere that are going to hold a shit ton of fluid. So, let's take that servo out. And she's really bleeding. But, um, that's why I got it sitting on cardboard. that right there see how well you can see that it's one of the servos doesn't look too bad there is yeah there's some black sludge inside here so it probably And that smells pretty foul. So, probably needed rebuilt. Set that aside. Let's swap up some of this. Oh, yeah. Let me take a look in there. Here's some. Uh, black sludge I don't know how well this ran uh, how long it ran but um yeah that's uh she got some burnt stuff in her on to the next one Yeah, 
That's even better. So, let's spin it around. Take this bolt off first because it's got the ID tag on it. I don't know what year, or uh, what year. transmission is. But uh, the tag on here, I don't know if uh, that's readable on the camera or not. It's a little bit readable. PEE AK4 03 DDB F27. Those are the numbers on it. Continue taking this one out. I thought these were going to be metric. These are really loose. seeing the gasket on it. So, let's see what we got here. Got the cover with uh, a lot of black sludge on it. Right there. And, uh, let's take this one out. That one doesn't look too bad in there. Still a lot of black junk on it. Yeah, a little bit, but it's uh, it's not as bad as the other one. Okay, let's continue taking the uh, rest of the parts here. I'm gonna clean my hands off a bit. 